All right. Today, our viewer has asked for your thoughts on alkaline versus acidic foods or diets. Indeed, in medical school, not much was talked about when it came to the acid or alkaline nature of food, but it really does make a difference. Uh, foods of animal origin, meats and dairy products, uh, have lots of sulfur and phosphorus in them. And the sulfur turns into sulfuric acid, the phosphorus turns into phosphoric acid. And these acids put a stress on the body's buffer systems. Uh, and uh, it can take calcium out of the bones in order to neutralize this acid. It puts a stress on the liver and the kidney to, uh, uh, to keep the buffer levels up. Uh, the acids can actually injure the filter membranes uh, in the kidneys. Uh, a food stream that leaves a high acid load for the body to deal with is not very gentle on the tissues, where the opposite is true. Uh, most all the foods in the plant kingdom, and except perhaps you know, refined grains, white flour products, but most of them leave an alkaline residue and they neutralize acid and they're much gentler on the body. They produce a more alkaline urine uh, all the way around. The alkaline forming foods are your friend. And guess what? <laughs> you can tell them because they grow out of the ground uh, by and large. So, uh, so yes, uh, a high acid forming diet, meats, dairy, sugars, processed foods in general, uh, put, uh, put a real metabolic stress on the body, go with a more alkaline diet, uh, fruits and vegetables uh, are your friend when it comes to neutralizing acid and uh, living a long, healthy life. So uh, let's hear it from alkaline forming foods and those are the whole plant foods. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you wanna see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.